It's a shame, like, you know, because I've got young children now, I'd like them to have a show that's British, you know, a bit like Primeval. Because um, if they want something glossy and exciting, often they have to turn to, you know, an American show, an import. Um, but we can do it too, so we should. Thank God for Netflix. I think it's helping a lot. I think, I mean, I am a big Netflix fan. I do love binge watching, not everybody does, but you don't have to with Netflix, you've got a choice. It gives you options, you know? I much prefer to turn Netflix on and, and get into a show that I've never even heard of or whatnot um, than to be channel surfing on terrestrial TV now because it is like, you know, oh, there's X Factor, X on the Beach, you know what I mean? It's just like, obviously we do still do the great dramas, but they're more few and far between now. And they're, they're just not as brave with stuff and Netflix anymore, understandably, because you know there's a lot of backlash sometimes, but with Netflix they can afford to be braver, or Amazon, you know, and, and do stuff. I mean, Sky are doing it now, Sky are doing their own original shows and films and stuff, which is fantastic. You know, I was in one, the Lucky Man and that, and so I think it's brilliant. It's great for actors, it's great for people in business, and it's great for the, the people watching. It gives them more choice, because that's what we want. We want a choice, don't we? I've got a show coming out on Netflix um, in, uh, I think it's August, it's called The Innocents. Um, I can't say too much because it's not released too much, they've released a trailer now, um, which you can kind of see what it's about, I'm not going to say it in case I get into trouble, um, but it's got like Guy Pearce in it and some very cool people, so, and it should be quite, I think it's quite a classy show, um, so I'm really chuffed to be a part of that, I can't tell you how I'm a part of it yet, because um, they've not released that yet. It was great to work on. Crowdfunded film um, about the homeless, which I found really interesting. Uh, Mark Zamet, he's directing, he's, it's his passion project really, which is obviously to me something where people just put themselves out there and go the whole hog, I really respect. So w once he asked me to be a part of it, I worked with him on a film called Chimera, um, I was like, Do you know what, I'm going to yeah, I will be a part of this um, and help you out and help you hopefully get it seen. Um, you know, other people like Jason Fleming, he's, you know, he's got quite a lot of people on board um, and it's all him and he's doing it all himself and I, I massively respect that. Um, yeah, if they are, I mean, I didn't know this, but if they are moving away from it, I do feel it's a shame and, you know, I, like with Alice, I, I'm very proud of that, you know, what we, what we did with that. It seemed to... People seem to like it, you know, it could have gone either way because we kind of messed with the story so much. Um, people could have gone, oh no, it's just too much, but they seem to really connect with it and they really seem to really connect with, my, I guess, my version of Hatter as well, um, which I was just, you know, it's brilliant when something works and, and you feel like people really like your character and what you've, what you've done with it. And yeah, when people talk about the Mad Hatter now, usually, my name is mentioned, which is pretty cool, you know, I'm happy about that. So, and hopefully it's mentioned positively as opposed to negatively. <laughs> so, I just have to keep saying I'm not S S Sebastian Stan. I didn't see Once Upon a Time. It came, Once Upon a Time came out after Alice. Mm. So obviously I'd already played Hatter. Um, and when it came out I'd heard about it, but I didn't even know there was Hatter in it. I don't know when he came into it or whatnot. Um, the first time it happened was when Captain America came out and Bucky was on the poster and people kept coming up to me going, is that, are you in Captain America? So at the time, obviously, I think because our hair was quite similar and this, that and the other, and it, it, people had already started to confuse me and then the hat thing even got even more confusing. So, but he's a fantastic actor, you know, and he obviously he's, he's got an amazing, amazing career. So, but it, it, people are going to compare all the time, you know. I haven't actually seen him play Hatter, so I couldn't, I couldn't comment on that. So I'm sure he's wicked. Yeah. So I don't think he's got a silver arm in it though, is he? No. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Although I do have, funnily enough, as my hatter, I have a magic punch, which can punch through bricks and stuff. So it's kind of Winter Soldier-esque. <laughs>